the question of how many were killed and how many participated in the genocide are politically sensitive and deeply contested issues. The stakes are high. The death toll shapes perceptions of who were the aggressors and who were the victims. It also shapes the characterization of the violence. Was it a genocide, a double genocide, a politicide, or something less than genocide? Well, for the avoidance of doubt, um, I believe unambiguously that a genocide of Tutsi occurred in Rwanda. The perpetrator estimate is also important to get right. The stakes are high here too. This number shapes perceptions of a criminal population. Uh, if a large proportion of the Hutu uh, population is considered to have been participants. It also has implications for inter-ethnic reconciliation as a consequence. So unsurprisingly then, uh, these estimates for the death toll and for uh, the number of perpetrators have varied dramatically, uh, particularly in respect of the death toll. So let me begin by stating then my own estimates and then explain how I reached them. I believe between 491,000 and 522,000 Tutsi, that is about half a million persons, were killed inside Rwanda between April 6th and July 19th, 1994. And I believe uh, 423,000 Hutu men aged between 15 and 54 years old committed at least one act of violence during the genocide. In percentage terms, this means 61 to 65% of the Tutsi population were killed and about 25% of the adult Hutu male population did the killing. So I'm careful to delimit these estimates both temporarily and spatially. The numbers refer to the 100 odd days following the president's death and to deaths within Rwanda only. I define these boundaries because there were other periods of mass violence in the wider region in which Rwandans were killed. The most important episode perhaps being the violence after the genocide in the then Zaire in which Hutu were overwhelmingly the victims. I'm also careful to specify the death toll estimate refers only to Tutsi deaths. Hutu were also killed during the genocide, but I do not have new original data with which to improve upon the existing estimates, the majority of which place the number in the tens of thousands. So let's look at the Tutsi death toll. So there are two main ways to estimate the number of people killed. Count the dead or count the survivors. I chose the latter method. So to do this, there's one other crucial number that first must be established, the number of Tutsi alive in Rwanda on the eve of the genocide. So this is a remarkably difficult number to calculate. The last population census, which asked about ethnicity in Rwanda, took place in 1991. However, um, this census, it's been claimed that the number of Tutsi reported in it was deliberately underestimated for political reasons. So I decided to check this by using data from the administrative census censuses that took place each year at the local level. The administrative censuses are more reliable because they are based on reported births and deaths within local communities, and they are collected and counted locally, i.e. Uh, the central government is not involved in the um, collection and analysis of the data that goes into the administrative censuses. So I found the administrative censuses for multiple years for two of Rwanda's 11 prefectures, going all the way back to the 1960s. That is to a time before the introduction of ethnic quotas that would have created political incentives to manipulate the numbers. I tracked the evolution in the Tutsi numbers reported in these censuses to see if there were any suspicious changes in any given year. I found none. The Tutsi population gradually increased in line with this group's fertility and mortality rates. I believe then that the administrative censuses were not tampered with, and so I used the 1983 administrative census for which I had data for the entire country, all 11 prefectures, and extrapolated the numbers in the 1983 census forward to predict the Tutsi population 
uh, as it would have been on April 6, 1994, the day the genocide began. So doing so, I estimate that the number of Tutsi on that date uh, was almost exactly 800,000. This made the Tutsi about 10.8% of the total population of Rwanda at the time of the genocide. And so from this number, I then subtracted, subtracted the best survivor estimates we have, and this is how I reached the figure of roughly half a million dead. It is worth noting that the local administrative censuses align broadly with the national population census of 1991, which has been uh, suspected of being tampered with. Um, I do not believe then, given this alignment, that the 1991 population census um, had been tampered with by the central government. So next, um, this brings me to the estimate of the level of Hutu participation in the killing, the number of perpetrators. So to calculate this, the number of perpetrators, who I defined broadly as all those who planned or committed at least one act of violence during the genocide, I drew on data from Rwanda's Gachacha courts. The Gachacha courts, of which there were thousands in localities throughout Rwanda, they were um, an innovative transitional justice institution created to deal with the unique nature and scale of participation in the violence. The tens of thousands of trials that took place allowed authorities to establish the number of perpetrators in each local community. These numbers are far from perfect. Uh, false accusations and false confessions um, were commonplace. However, the central government released these those local numbers for the entire country, and I believe that they are probably as good an estimate as we are likely ever to get of the number of individuals who participated in Rwanda's violence. So I aggregated these numbers to establish my estimate. I also ground truthed a number of the local numbers to help identify, establish whether there was any possible manipulation of these data at the center. Um, I collected the local data myself from the handwritten paper records that a number of local gachachas courts had made available to me in my research sites. In short, the numbers tallied at the, the numbers at the local level tallied with the numbers released by the central government. Uh, they seem to be reliable. So to sum up then, in Rwanda, between April 6th and July 19th, 1994, an astonishing 61 to 65% of the Tutsi population were killed, and a troubling 25% of the adult Hutu male population were involved in this killing.